So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can do the live viewport compositing with the help of the brand new blender 3.5 so basically blender recently have launched their 3.5 version which is super fabulous i have already made video on those topic which blender had updated for us if you are interested to watch that video you can go to my channel and watch the new updates video apart from that today's video we are going to talk about some cool feature which is we are waiting for so long time which is called live compositing so what i feel exactly uh, lots of people are commenting me uh, and basically they are sending me message on the instagram and you haven't followed yet me so you can just follow me at the red deeper graphics on instagram okay, and you can get the all live update about the blenders and my and my own courses also which is we are planning to launch next week all right so let's come to the topic so today's video we are going to talk about how we can do the live compositing so what happened exactly before what happening if you have to do any compositing first of all you have to render your file then you have to just go to your compositing then you have to just uh, do whatever you want to with that compositing tab okay after completing your compositing you have to go your viewer uh, layer then you can see your compositing result but now you can do live on your viewport render view so how you can do that for that what you have to do first one i'm just going to switch this editor type menu as a compositing yeah compositor and first of all i'm just gonna click this use node and right now here you can see we don't have anything here because we haven't rendered yet so we don't need to do rendering what we have to do exactly we have to just add any node whatever node you want to add and whatever node you want yeah whatever node effect you want into your render basically so for that you have to just add any node right now i'm just going to use a hue saturation yeah you can do hue correct so i'm just going to use the hue saturation and now here you can see if i'm just gonna drag this hue value you can see nothing happening yet but this is exactly happened before but now blender give one option where you have to enable that option and you get the live compositing effect so for that what you have to do go to your render viewport menu so after that you have just click this little arrow and you will get a, another uh, drop down menu and here you can see we have a composited option which is we don't have before now here are a three option first is disable because blender by default disable the compositing if you want to enable you have to just go to here and here you will get the three option so first is disable second is camera so what is the meaning of the camera basically so if you have a camera into your scene and if you go to your camera view uh, only into your camera view you can see the color correction and whatever compositing settings you will do from the compositing tab if you are click the always so doesn't matter you are in your camera view or not you will see the live compositing into your whole viewport so let's see first of all we are just gonna click the uh, camera so now here you can see we can live see the compositing happening in our camera view okay but here is a one trick if i'm just gonna edit uh, my camera view and if i'll just change any hue saturation value we won't able to see that value because right now we have set our compositing into our camera view so it will only appear our camera view whatever we will do with our uh, uh, compositing tab all right but if i'm just gonna click the uh, always now here you can see doesn't matter you are in your uh, camera view and you are in your viewport view you can see always that compositing effect will uh, happen into your viewport all right so this is very amazing tool i hope you will like this tool because i was waiting for so long time this tool because that's gonna very helpful to visualize our uh, renders and doing color correction doing lighting and doing some uh, contrast and brightness right before doing your final render so i hope you get it from where you can enable that live compositing option thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video so make sure you hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comments so bye bye take care and stay home guys Thank you.